Hey fellow real estate investors, are you looking for a solution to be able to understand your market based on economic indicators? A lot of indicators float around like unemployment, looking at housing price index, GDP, and more. However, it could become really difficult in order to find these data sets until now. I'm going to show you how to use FRED economic data to find public resources available in order to really assess the market that you are in. This is going to be a part of a mini series of understanding FRED data, sources, how to create some really cool dashboards like these for your market, as well how to actually pull in the data using Python. My name is Ariel Herrera with the Analytics Ariel channel, where we bridge the gap between real estate and technology. If you're new to this channel and you have a passion for technology, data, and real estate just like me, then please subscribe as well, like our content on social media. All right, let's get started. Economic indicators are super useful in residential real estate investing. From all perspectives, whether you're a sophisticated investor, you're a researcher, or you're just starting out, because it's really good to understand the pulse of your market if it's going up or if it's going down. So for example, when you go to the doctor, it's really important for you to understand your blood pressure and other attributes to see how your overall health is. We'll think about these economic indicators as these metrics or pinpoints to understand how well is your market doing relative to how it was in the past and against other similar markets. So as of late, in case you're new to this channel, I am consolidating data sets across many different sources. So there's one stop shop to know where you can get data for macro, micro, economics, property detail, social media, and more. So in that effort, I'm actually recording these videos so that you can have an understanding when you look at this one-stop shop as to how to use these data sources. So let's jump straight into FRED. What is FRED economic data? Well, FRED economic data actually is, think of it as a pool where it takes many different data sources from different sites and puts it together into their own. So it's a really easy way to index this information. So let's jump right into it. I'm in the FRED economic homepage. Let's say we want to look at unemployment. So I'm going to click unemployment over here. There's a lot of information regarding unemployment. We could see this unemployment rate. It has over here how we can actually extract this data. There's percent monthly seasonally adjusted. We could get a quick description. This is a view of the unemployment rate or number of people 16 and over actively searching for a job as a percentage of a total labor force. We could then see on the left hand side that we could dive deeper into this by looking at specific geographies. So right now this is going to be for the whole United States view, but we could actually look at unemployment just for Texas. And from there we could even dive deeper into different areas within Texas. So we could look at city views and go down as far as counties. But let's just play it simple and say we're trying to look at unemployment for all the US. We can click this here. Now we're going to be brought onto the series. So the series has a name which is UNRATE, U-N-R-A-T-E. And I'll explain in future videos why this is important, especially when you're grabbing the data programmatically. But as of right now, we do get a chart here, and this data goes back all the way to about 1945. We can use the bar at the bottom to maybe truncate this to 2000, and it's quickly responsive. We can hover over and we could see trends for unemployment. So back in the last financial crisis, around 2008, we see unemployment starts to climb as a lot of people were losing their jobs, big businesses were failing. It got as high as 10%. And it was a slow trend going down until ultimately it was at its lowest at about 3.5% and shot way up really quickly because of COVID. But it's also rebounded back down pretty quickly as well. Now, where is this data actually coming from? What's really neat is that FRED states exactly what the source is, which in this case is the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. 
We see the source down here in the notes as well. We can see that the frequency is every month this data is posted. And we can look at the release as well. So let's say let's click this and we get brought right to the source, US Bureau of Labor Statistics. This is where this data is coming from. So if we want to actually grab it from the actual site, we could do it here. But of course, it's a lot more useful just to use FRED itself. Now, what if we wanted to look at some housing related stats? We can go back to categories for FRED, and it's going to give us an array of different categories we could look into. We could look at things like consumer price indices, and we can go down to regional data, which for me is one of my favorites. So let's jump right into states. And in this scenario, let's look at New Jersey. We could dive even deeper into counties, which is as granular as you can get. And we'll look at my original county, Monmouth County. So what we're going to see here now are all the different series that we can get data from. We have unemployment rate specifically for Monmouth County. Let's actually click that. And we're going to see a very similar chart to the other one beforehand. Doesn't go as far back as 1950, but still really useful. Now, if we want to compare this against the entire United States unemployment rate, we can go to Edit Graph, Add a Line, and we can type in that code that was there before. So it was UnRate, Unemployment Rate, Add the Data Series, and now we can see a direct comparison of these two. I'm going to click out and drag this to, say, the last 10 years. We could see that Monmouth County between 2015 to about 2020 consistently had lower unemployment than the national average, which from an investor perspective, this may be something that I would want to look towards being a part of a county investing in one that has low unemployment relative to that benchmark. Now let's go back to the other series that are available. So we could go back to Monmouth County up here. And what I love about this is that we can actually now break down on the left hand side by looking at particular sources like the census, looking at realtor.com. And we can also look at things based on its frequency. So let's just go to realtor.com. This is going to be a lot of housing related data. We can get information like housing inventory by square foot, market hotness, median days on market. Let's click this for now. What we see here is median days on market, and we see it trends upwards. Usually during the winter months is when the homes are on the market for longer periods of time, which makes sense because less people are looking to move during the winter seasons. And then going back down, we can actually look at Realtor.com, the source, or its release for the market hotness index. And this allows us to dive even deeper into the data if we'd like. So this is what's really powerful about FRED data. You can not only find things that you want to be able to analyze, it's in an easy digestible way, and you can find what the original source is. Now you might be asking, all right, this is great. Maybe I don't want to browse through all these different tabs. How do I search this data? So let's look at this over here. And one of the other really important indices is the home prices index. So the way I would search for this is going straight to Google and searching Fred first, then home price index, and let's just say for New Jersey. So whatever your location is, Fred, the indice or release you're looking for, and then the location enter and it should be the first thing that pops up. It took us straight here. Now we have the home price index. We can quickly analyze it. However, it's not that useful to look at this on a one by one series. I want to see how every all these stats look like in one single view. So check out the next video in our series where we talk about how to actually create these quick, easy, simple dashboards. Where we pull in 
multiple different series from Fred so we can analyze US economic stats as well as ones for our market. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks.